Alright guys, what is up? Welcome back to Empyrean Galactic Survival with Lone Debater 7. We are picking back up pretty much where we left off. Um, we built some more of these steel cubes to kind of finish crafting our hover vehicle. So we're going to see if we can get this monstrosity built. Um, doesn't seem to like me placing things there. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Um, what I'm going to do, I think... Now, we might have to fly this a little bit so I can finish putting in all these, like, ground blocks. Because I do want to kind of get that done. I am going to take this one out, though, because I don't like where it is. Um, that's not where I wanted to place it. I wanted to place it right here, but it doesn't seem to let me for whatever reason. But that's alright. Okay, so we've got the buildings of a ship. We need to put on our cockpit. So we'll just plonk that guy right there. Uh, we also want to attach our spotlight, so we'll put one there, and one there. We want our detector, which I'm going to put in the back, I think. It'll look kind of cool. Kind of tuck it in, you know. I don't, I don't know, I think that looks good. Um, and then we need our container controller and our ore and wood. Now these... I'm going to place in like so, because you want to have access to these containers, otherwise you can't actually get the stuff out of them. There might be a way to do it from the cockpit, I, I don't remember, but either way, it's best if you can actually reach them outside the ship. And then we're going to put our harvester module right across the front on the bottom, and I think that is about all we need. So if I open this up and go to the ship icon... Nope, that's blueprints. Um, how do you do this? I forget. Is it I? Uh, U takes off your helmet. Um, maybe it is just under this little tab here. So, hover vessel. Yeah. Um, we're going to call this LD7 HV1. Um, cool. We're going to manage our fuel. Put in these biofuels. Give us a little bit. So 30% fuel, good enough for the time being. I mean, I don't know how long that'll last us, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so we've got that, pilot mode. All we really need to do is turn this on, and we should be good to go. So I'm going to turn it on. And, uh, all right, that's fine. And as you can see, it goes pretty quick. And if I hold down this mouse button... I can activate my harvester, and as you can see, we got five logs. So, it doesn't go through like plants and things, but it is pretty effective at going through trees, rocks, all that kind of stuff. So you can use this to harvest, no problems there. Um, but anyway, so kind of fun. As you can see, we've got our little 50 meters per second, so this is significantly faster than the motorbike um, and plus it will mark things for us while we fly so I am gonna try and locate us some more ore and everything um, I believe if you push space it activates your ground repulsors and that's how you actually go hover across like water and things um, but yeah anyway Oh, just to show you, so as you can see, oh, I guess the harvester doesn't work on rocks. That's fine. It works on wood, so like I said, I usually end up using my hover vessel for wood because that's what it's good at. <laughs> um, anyhow, I don't really want to risk running this into the water at the moment just because it's a little bit jank since it's hand-built. Um, so we're not going to go across the ocean. Uh, we are going to see if we can find some more ore, however, because, I mean, we only mined about half of our, uh, starting ore resources, I guess, but we're going to need so much more than what's left. It gave us about 200 or so of the actual ore, it takes two per ingot, so to build one of the templates you need, like, three or four hundred ingots, so... We need substantial ore uh, to be able to fill that. Um, 
Also, it's kind of fun exploring. I didn't realize they had weather, so that must be new with this update. Uh, you can get these storms, which is kind of cool. It makes it a little bit more dynamic than just, you know, your standard boring sunny day and dark night, uh, but whatever. So we are just kind of zooming along nice and nice and fast. Uh, you do kind of need to be careful if you hit like a rock or whatever, it'll spin you out as you can see or flip you. That's even worse. Um, come on, ship. There we go. Okay. All right. So now that we have this vehicle built, we are pretty much ready to, uh, to explore, find more stuff. As you can see, the next mission is to mine iron, copper, silicon, whatever. We could have done that at the base, but I want to find a new ore, ore vein, if I'm honest. So that's my goal. Um, and then we can complete the mission, blah, blah, blah. But um, Let's see. We are zooming, I will say. Um... Oh, cool. We found a crash capital vessel. That's actually super useful because those will sometimes have either, you know, like cargo boxes with goodies inside or you can salvage like engine pieces, whatever. So those are those are good to know about. Um, anyway, looks like most of that stuff's in the water um, or it's on the other side. I mean, we could have tried to fly across it. Like I said, I mean, these should, in theory, be able to hover across the water. I just, if it doesn't work for some reason or I don't know the key bind in order to make that happen, uh, the ship will basically get destroyed and I don't want to have that happen after I spent all the time making this. Um, to be honest, this is probably the best handcrafted ship that I've made uh, because it actually flies. Like, usually when I try to build these myself, they don't work. I mean, like, you can move a little bit, but they are not this effective at, you know, kind of going around. So, I'm kind of proud of myself on that. Um, come on. Re-angle. Um... Whatever. I guess it's fine. There we go. There we go. And, of course, we're getting some nice wood, which it's useful. I mean, like, we're probably not going to need anything uh, to do with wood, really. I mean, it wood can be used to make planks which make the fiber and uh, that in turn can be made into biofuel. So that that's really all we're gonna use our wood for as far as I can tell, um, but still, still worth having. Um, I do just wanna check and see how our fuels do. Oh yeah, we barely used any. Okay, awesome. It used to, I mean, they've changed the rectacle a little bit. Uh, it didn't used to have this like cool little thing telling you where or orbit is and all that so i am kind of interested about that oh cool we found some promethium that's useful because promethium is actually uh better fuel so if we can mine a little bit of that um that will help us a lot actually because a promethium fuel pack which is a default thing you start with you can make large ones later you have to unlock it and reach a certain level and what have you but Anyway, Promethium is a very good fuel, uh, so like probably two Promethium packs would fill up our fuel tank. That's how awesome it is, compared to the nine biofuel giving us 30%, right? So it's worth finding Promethium. I'm just kind of scouting at this point. I mean, we can always come back um, and mine all this shit later, but um, I'm kind of just waiting, kind of exploring. We did find a silicon deposit. I don't know if you guys caught that when it popped up and got discovered. Uh, so that's good. Um, I do want to find some more iron and copper, however. Primarily copper. Uh, I think I'm okay on iron and silicon at the moment. It's mostly copper that I'm running low on because shotgun ammo takes copper ingots. Um, but that's okay. I